everyone, Miss here, thanks for stopping by. So today I'm going to do a review of Bunny Easter wreath, yay! And putting my drills away, de-kitting, so I can show you how I store all my spare drills. Okay, so the Bunny wreath I did slightly differently um, to the uh, original packaging. I think if you remember, the box shows um, a brown bunny. Well, I decided I quite fancied a little creamy white bunny um, and I've done dark grey to highlight. So I don't know if you can see that. I've actually put some um, AB crystals. I don't know whether it'll pick it up or not. So I mixed in with the creamy white some AB, some Aurora Borealis crystals just to give that extra sparkle. And then on the nose around here, they're all like creamy white. Um, and they've got like a touch of pink so it's again got some more AB crystals there just to make the nose stand out a little bit more because I just fancied a white bunny you can just do your uh, projects exactly how craft, craft Buddy have designed them but obviously you can make your uh, put your own touches onto them as well there's so much sparkle on this so look at those flowers i think they're crocuses and the eggs with the sparkle on there look the stars i'm going all the way around the little blue flowers sorry i don't know what they are um i know these have a name uh and i'm no good at flowers on those either but uh yeah but i just think that is super and also what i've done just to make it pop a little bit more i've taken my pro marker pen this one is let me see this is pine so it's a pine color pro marker and oops i can get the lid off <laughs> i've used the bullet nib which is the like chiseled end of the uh, pen and i've just gone round and i've just marked and colored all of the uh, mdf brown bits as you can see it, it all the edges all looked um, like the MDF colour and I just wanted it to pop a little bit more and I've done all the inside of the bunny as well so oh I missed a bit there so let's just get that just colour it in and the pro marker takes really well to the MDF colours it in no problem and it, it just sort of finishes it off to me Um also if there's any of the um, bit of the green paint on the edges that you've scratched there you can actually then just use your pro marker on that as well but that is a super bunny um it has got a hanger but at the moment i'm just standing him on my mantelpiece so that i can look at him he's above the fireplace so i can just look at him all day but yeah really fun to do took couple of evenings doing an hour or so a night um, I didn't want to rush it because I was enjoying doing it uh, so yeah that's my bunny and I say I've just changed it up a little bit but I hope you can see all that sparkle it's just so pretty and as you walk past it while it's on the mantelpiece I haven't sealed it yet I am going to seal it though before I put it away for next year because I think it might get bumped I've kept the box to put it away in um, but I do think it, it does need uh, sealing just so that it'll last for years and years. And uh, yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, so let's decide what we're going to do with all these spare drills. There were a lot left over. I think you can see there in the little container. I've got how many of each colour. Um, I think they do say there's about one and a half times uh, the drills that you need. And there certainly was in this one. <laughs> There's plenty left over so because it has the dmc cup this can go into my dmc storage so let's get the colors there um each of the little containers i did keep the dmc number on it but i've also got my uh, little chart as well okay so this is how i do my storage it's the same as rebecca four kids at 147 um it's the best storage system i've come across i did try a few before i tried rebecca's system and i just thought do you know what it works so let's just stick with it uh, there's no point in trying to reinvent the wheel as it were <laughs> okay so our first color to go away let's 
so just slide that to one side i've got my trays here to catch any spare stray drills because you know me i'm a spiller so our first number is number 208 so these are all in numerical order and they're all in the dmc order as well so let's look for number 208 and what i have in uh, each color behind each little piece of cardboard which has the dmc number on it is a little bag with the color in okay so i'm going to tip those into my tray because i just don't think i'm going to get them into my bag without losing any okay and then just literally add those in with the friends so that's number 208 so if i do need a nice purple or if i need a 208 again in another project then i will uh, reuse that one okay and oops take the little number off the top of the box so that's one done the next one is 307 i should have put some glasses on i think doing this because these numbers are quite small okay number 307 if you want to see how this storage system is set up i'll put a link down below for rebecca's uh, youtube and website so you can see how she does it okay and that's 307 and they'll go in with their little buddies so i found that this because there are <coughs> roughly 450 colors and um, dmc colors some of them aren't in use anymore for embroidery threads and um, some of them are new ones that you'll possibly find you haven't got i just find that this is the quickest and easiest way to access and it doesn't take up as much room um, I know some people are using the big storage cases with the bottles to store all their extras but by doing that you're going to need quite a few cases and this just putting them in zip seal bags it just means you're not using quite so many oh and 310 okay so we have an awful lot of 310s oh, okay will these actually fit in here possibly possibly just get those few in there's not much room left i think once these bags are full i don't know whether i'll start a second bag or not um i've only been doing this system since just before christmas prior to that i was putting everything in color order and trying to order it in color and it it just got out of hand um i was using little poly pockets in uh, like a ring binder and every time I opened the ring binder, because they were so full, they were just flying out all over. So that didn't work. So this was something that, I'd say, I came across uh, Rebecca's wonderful site. And uh, thought, yeah, that is a fantastic idea. Started doing it. And, yeah, just... It's the best system that I've come across, let's say. Okay, obviously you've got to do what works for you um but at the moment this is what works for me okay so that's the first slot i've got 603 let's find that one so how is everybody today hope you're all well uh my hubby is still in hospital so having to go through lots more tests again unfortunately um, he's been in two weeks now so we'll see how we go um I'm just pleased really that I can actually go and visit him an hour a day. I don't know how poor people managed. Um, it must have been horrendous. Just feel so sorry for anybody that couldn't go and visit their relatives during the uh, COVID pandemic because not being able to see uh, Hubby while he's been so poorly would just have knocked me for six. I just, well, I just don't know how I would have coped. So those poor people. <clears throat> <coughs> those poor people that couldn't go and see friends relatives loved ones while they were in hospital i, I just oh dear doesn't bear thinking about anyway hey ho we have diamond painting to keep us going and it's just something i think when i've had a hospital visit coming home and i just get my cup of tea and to switch off i just start diamond painting and it's just such a stress relief it's just so relaxing the action just putting little beads onto a canvas and just switching off for half an hour an hour that's all it needs just to then oh that's 741 look i'm getting the wrong one here 
<clears throat> shutting off now when I do with this. <laughs> Concentrate, Liz. Uh, yeah, it's just mindful. And it just takes me to my happy place. Just lets me relax and think about something else. Takes your mind away. And you're cre um, creating something wonderful as well at the same time. So, yeah, it, it, it's a great hobby, is this. And, okay, seven, four, two. Okay, you will find if you do get um, drills from different manufacturers that you do sometimes get slightly different dye lots. Um, so there will be slightly different colours. But uh, I do think, well, you know, if you do need that colour, then you can just pick out the ones that you need. Oh, look, powering away through these. Okay, 909. Right, I think that one's in my next box. Yep, this box only goes up to 800. As I can say, you've got all of those colours there. If they were in storage cases, you would need probably two or three just to fit all those different colours in. Okay, pop that one on one side. Let's get the next one. This is box number two. Okay, all nicely organised, all in number order. So, 909, there we are. Oops. Put them behind and for some reason i'm starting to look in front of them while i'm taking these out must because i'm talking too much talking liz <laughs> you can never talk too much but don't tell my teachers that liz talks too much in class <laughs> i've used the zyron sticker maker if you saw the kitten up and these little stickers just quite easily peel off at the moment. So that's 915. Oops. Where are we? Where are we? There he is. I've left these quite loose in this box as well because I do want to be able to um, fit some extra colours. Sorry. I do want to be able to fit extra drills in there. Once these bags are full, um, then I will find that probably I do need more storage. But uh, we'll see how we go from there. Okay, Minnie is being suspiciously quiet at the moment. I do believe the postman may have been, so I'm hoping she's not eating my letters. Um, I know when she was a puppy, we forgot to shut the hallway door and she decided to help herself to the post and shredded all the letters. Fortunately, a lot of it was junk mail, so it was probably going to be shredded anyway, but uh, there was an odd letter that we had to try and piece together and read to make sure it was nothing important. The joys of having a puppy. Okay, 958. Okay, 958. Um, we did uh, a couple of weeks back uh, before Hobby went in hospital. Um, I have a close encounter of the CAT cat. Don't tell me Lee kind. Um, we leave our back door open for Millie to come in and out when it's nice weather. And she just potters about and, you know, lets herself in and out and plays about in the garden and uh, we have this little cat called Thomas that likes to come and uh, say hello to everybody he's oh I had those the wrong way around look I'm back at the eights um, he can't hear at all and uh, it, when he meows it, well he doesn't meow he just opens his mouth and nothing comes out bless him and he's such a little cutie I'll see if I can find the photograph I've got of him sat on the fence um, he's only for a tomcat he's only really small so he lives around the corner from us and he doesn't have a tail so at some point he's had an accident and lost his tail <laughs> he's not a very lucky cat um, but yeah he decided to come into the house we didn't know he'd come into the house and we were upstairs just sorting some stuff out and Millie suddenly went, all the hackles went up she ran into the front bedroom and there's Thomas just sat there looking at her and I just couldn't believe it. I can't hear you. So I'm chasing around the house. It took me 10 minutes to round him into a corner to try and pick him up. Not knowing whether he was going to attack me or not. Because obviously, you know, he doesn't know me. Um, he's coming to my house. He's quite happy to come into my house, but he doesn't know me. And uh, yeah. So anyway, 10 minutes later, I managed to shoo him down the stairs. And then he just sits on the window ledge and looks outside as if to say, Oh, well, I'll just stay here for a bit longer. Millie is going absolutely mad because she's just not a fan of cats at all. Um, she did corner him at one bit, but because he didn't run, she wasn't bothered. 
she just sort of like sat and looked at him stopped barking just sat and looked at him and thought well what are we going to do now and he's just looking at her thinking stupid dog <laughs> so that was our close encounter that was um a little bit of fun having a, a cat to join us in the house it's a long time since i've had a cat in the house i did used to have three cats um well i actually had to, a small zoo, I think. I uh, had a, uh, three cats, two dogs, a budgie, a guinea pig, a hamster and a rabbit. So I had a lot of animals, but uh, what with when I used to work full time um, and unfortunately hubby is allergic to cats. So we can't have a cat anymore. Otherwise I would probably have one and then Millie wouldn't be quite so anti-cat. All right, what is that number? 995. So yeah, that was our exciting week. <laughs> Not quite so exciting week. I don't know who was more shocked really. Yeah. Myself, hubby or Millie just sat there looking at this cat sat in the bedroom. Like, Where have you come from? Apparently he goes in all the neighbours' houses if you leave the door open, uh, our next door neighbour. Um, yeah, she went to bed one night and Thomas was just sat on her pillow asleep. <laughs> Obviously, it's just quite happy to go anywhere where there's an open door. Okay, I suppose he doesn't get disturbed because he can't hear anything. So, yeah, yeah, just gets himself settled and goes to sleep. <laughs> oh dear, got to be a cat. <laughs> See, he is very, very friendly. Um, you know, whenever you're around, he does want to come up and say hello to you and i try and not encourage him because it's not fair it's not fair to Millie and it's not fair to him i don't want him to think that he can come and be petted because uh, well not with the way Millie is <laughs> but yeah so let me just have a look we'll get into the end of these all these colors oh we've got a little star in that one we'll leave it in there for now one that's just escaped while I've been doing other stuff. Okay. Two. Oops. See, there was lots of drills left over in this. And they are all really nice quality drills as well. Um, when I've done some canvases in the past that have been not such good quality, shall we say, um, and I've struggled putting drills on, um, from other companies then I don't keep them I just throw them in the bin um, I just well I've got a jar full of them um, as well that I don't use so yeah this is my spares jar that I've got <laughs> um, I've got my little Scotty that I made myself a little Scotty sticker there and a little heart sticker I don't know whether you can see those. I have got a video of those and there's a little picture of Millie there. But yeah, that's all my spares that I either don't want to use um, or I couldn't match up the colours. And uh, life's too short to be sat staring at colours for hours and hours and hours sometimes. So I've just put them all in a jar. What I'm going to do with them, I don't know, but I don't think it looks quite pretty all in a jar there. <laughs> Okay. I'm a typical crafter, you see. I just can't throw anything away. You always think, oh, I might be able to use that later. So I don't want to throw it away. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. And this is 3843. So is that in this one? Nope, that's in box number three. Let's put this one away. Okay. Oh. Getting all my rubbish coming with me there. Okay, now then, box number three is slightly different because I do put my crystals in here as well and I have got some of my spare bags all ready to use there as well. So, three, eight, four, three. As you can see, unfortunately, I didn't quite get all of uh, my storage into two boxes. I've had to go into three and I've been lucky enough to get three boxes all the same as well. I did buy them all at different times and I was a bit concerned possibly I wouldn't be able to get the same ones, but I have managed to do that. Okay, so that's that one put away. Three, eight, four. 
three. Okay, now then. These ones are all the specials and the shaped ones and the coated ones and stars and things. And Craft Buddy have put numbers on these. Now, there won't be DMC numbers, I don't think. Um, I would have to check. I'm not sure. Uh, but because they have got numbers, I'm going to start separate bags with these. Um, purely because I might be able to match them up. At the moment, what I do is... Uh, so I've got my green crystals and these are all the pale green crystals and the dark green crystals. I've just been putting them all into one great big bag. As you can see, I do an awful lot of cards and special drill projects. So I have an awful lot of all the diamonds left over. Look, hot pink, hot pink. And uh, look at the gold. Wow, <laughs> that's nearly a pillow there. So yeah, so I've been keeping them in these larger bags keeping them in my storage there and um, the specials all the different shaped ones and things i have been putting like into color uh, order i mean this one has a lot of different ones in it different shapes so that if i needed say a gold shape i could just dip into there but now because i have got numbers i'm going to see when i do some more de-kitting from craft buddy if the numbers match up to the next projects so I'm going to start these in their own little bags with numbers on. Okay. What I'm going to do for now, I will get my little numbers. I have got um, a spare sheet with the little stickers that are blank. And uh, I will get those numbers and get those written out. But for now, I'm just going to see if these stickers will stick on. So let me get my good bags. Okay. And whoops, that one's already been done there. When I do some de-kitting of cards, I may be able to find then that these match up with some of the other. Uh, they'll match up with some of the other gems and things. And then I can see if we've got numbers and then we can organise them. I like to be organised. So let's put... Uh, that one on this bag so they've called that one zero zero one okay and where shall we put this one we'll start this one here and keep those separate now then this one zero zero forty sorry zero fourteen so these look like colors that i've already got in my larger bags um but i'm not going to match them up yet until i know whether these are going to be um numbers for craft buddy or whether they're just for this single canvas and that they're not numbers that they're going to use uh, all the time okay and this one's m024 so these are marquees so i wonder if the m stands for marquee mm, possibly possibly look at the sparkle on those wow oh, i love gems that are coated that have got the a b coating on them Really pretty. Okay. Now let's. Sure there are hundreds of different shapes and colours of gems. So I think I might have found that there's quite a lot of different ones. This one's an X007. Oh, the stars are 007. <laughs> I'm sure James Bond would be very pleased. <laughs> oh, that's fab. I like that. 007 is a star. Okay, silver stars. Oops, peel that one off. And pop it on there. Okay. And then we have, I think that's S050. So that's an S. These are like a teardrop shape. So you'd think it would be T for teardrop. No, it's an S. Maybe S for shiny. Shiny pink. Shiny pink. Look at those. Wow. Craft Buddy really do pick out some fantastic different shapes and things. Oops, I've put that one away without putting the sticker on. Look. <gasps> Concentrate, Liz. Should try harder. Right. Y045. 
and these are like a half of a sphere half of a, a ball and they again have got a coating on them okay off there pop it on there okay that's that one and last one is y120 these make up those little bobbly flowers <sighs> trying to think are they lupins possibly don't all scream at me at once if it's the wrong one but yeah they, they look like little beads all on the flower i'm sure my mum will know my mum's an avid gardener and she will know all of the flowers and she'll be saying why don't you know that one <laughs> Okay, so that's all those popped away. That's all my little case all done. My little leaflet, I have um, a logbook that I like to keep a track on all my canvases that I've done. Um, where I got them from, how much they cost and how long they took me to do. So yeah, that'll go into my logbook, which is why I wanted to keep it. So that's that all done. That's my trays done. Put my lid on my box. And we're all finished. All nice and tidy. Put my bits in the bin there. Oh, put that bag away there. Put that one in there. So yeah, so that's all reviewed, put away and nice and tidy. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I do uh, with my spare drills when I've finished with them. And uh, if you've enjoyed seeing it, please press that like button. If you want to see a bit more and see what I do with my next canvases, then please subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for stopping by.